1 John 3 16 this is how we know what love is Jesus laid down his life for us and we are to lay down our lives for our brothers and sisters family I heard a sermon today where brother pastor Joel spoke about the life of Jesus and that we are not to focus on that he died for us but we are to focus that he laid down his life for us what does this mean the life that he lived a life of love a life of grace a life of peace a life uh, a life of giving a life of honoring this is the life that he gave for us this is what he laid down for us he didn't live a life all free to himself but he lived a life to show an example that we should follow so family please follow the love of Christ with your brothers and your sisters so that when you are called up my father would not say I do not know you make sure that God knows you when you stand before him to so live a life like Christ lived that's what I endeavor to do is to live that life because if we are not walking with God we are walking with the devil and if your God is dead come and try mine hey family welcome back to another week's video so I am about to do the continuation of The continuation of these doors now my daughter had this genius idea I know it's probably been done before but it was genius cuz I think of, I thought of it but I thought of how she said it yeah and that's why I didn't do it I was like mm. so what she told me to do instead of Using the nail guns, because now the nail guns is putting holes in that thing, and I have to go and fill each one of those holes, baby. So what she told me to do is, Mom, why don't you use a double stick tape and some glue on the back and put them on, and at least you have some option to kind of shift them around a little bit and probably just put like one, um, one, one, one nail in it if you have to. And I was like, I gave birth to this girl. She's smart. <laughs> I gave birth to her. So, I went to Home Depot today. And I got me some liquid nail. And I got me some double-sided tape. <laughs> So I was trying to find the thinnest double-sided tape that I could find. And this one was the thinnest one that I saw. Because you want this thing to still sit flat, right? Um, and then when I put the cock, it wouldn't have to be too much cock. So that's what I did, okay? So see, this one is really thin. I hope this, video, this thing ain't too light, too bright, because... That video I just watched, I rewatched my video. It was disgusting. Oh, it's darker than it's supposed to be. That's fine. I prefer it dark and I have to lighten it. That when light, you lose quality. So, what I'm going to do, I, or what I did is I cut up all the wood to the sizes that I need. But, however, to complete, I would only be able to complete today. Um, I have to go and buy more wood. Because I want to do the inside of my door. And right now, to comp I can only complete, I think, three doors. Yeah, fully, fully complete three doors. I need the long piece for the top. So I, I didn't cut for the bathroom because most times your bathroom door is smaller than the other doors. Um, so I have to check and see what's the size. If the size of the bathroom door is still the same. But I know for a fact the closet door is smaller. Um, so, yeah. So I'm going to, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to put the double stick tape on the back of all of the woods. And then when I'm ready to apply them, then I'm going to put the adhesive and put them on on the door. I'm also going to go through 
and I'm going to measure the doors where the middle piece have to go because that's my major piece. So I'm going to measure the door where the middle piece lands since I already did it on this one door. And I'm going to put the marking on all the doors where it has to fall. And um, that will make my process when I start to apply them go much, much faster. Because trying to figure out... Um, sorry, I got something in my hand. Trying to figure out the placement of that middle piece, it took me some time with this one. And I can't go through that with all. So now that I know where I put it, it's the perfect place. Now I can... Um, I can come take a, 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 a mark and come down and see exactly where it is, draw a line and go to each door and draw a line and then I'll be following that line when I am putting up all the middle pieces. Like I said, the only piece that has to do that with is the middle piece and everything else will follow suit. Okay? So let me let me get the pieces. Oh, and my hair came. So this is the hair. This is the hair. Good night. Let me show you. This is the hair that I got. I think this is body wave. This is not. Is this what you call body wave? I think this is body wave. I don't know. It says it's 100% human here. So, it does have a chemical smell. So, I do have to wash it. But, it's pretty soft. So, I decided to go with this in case I want to curl it. So this can I can make these straight or I can curl it. Right? So I got, I think, 12, 14, and 16. Like I said, I don't like long hair. So it was a total of three bundles. Like I said, I got these from Amazon. Oh, and it comes with a head cap. A head wig. A wig cap. What else it comes with? That's it. So, this is the hair. I already took my hair out. I'm going to give my hair a protein, um, a protein treatment. So, this is a 16. That was a 6, yeah, that was a 16 that I opened up. So, yeah, I'm going to give my hair a protein treatment. I'll definitely show you guys how I make that treatment. And, um... And go from there, right? So let me um, get the wood. Like I said, I already cut the wood up. Mm -hmm. Cashews. Unsalted cashews, okay? Let me get the wood. Show you how I'm going to put the tape on the back. And then... I'll show you one door, me applying it to one door. And then I'll come back when I'm doing the other steps. But that's all. It's already night. That's all I'm going to do tonight. Because I need to go wash this weave. Put it to dry. I have some chicken downstairs that was defrosting that I have to clean. Um, so I have to go and clean those. So I'm trying to stretch my time. Um, yeah. I got these hats today. This is a navy blue one. And I went to the gym today. This is a black one, but it's like a jeans material. You see, it looks like jeans. And I got this tan one. So I bought three of them. I was going to buy a white white one, but then I realized I already have a white um, BMW hat that I had from when I had my BMW. So I decided not to get the white one. And then I went back to get one of these jackets. These, yo. I 
I saw baby this jack and I was like, I want one. Um, I, I got one in the blue that I already had here. It's in a navy blue. It's a bomber jacket. I remember these from back in the day in New York. You see? It's a spoke jacket. So this is like this is leather. Then you got the leather repeated here. And then you have that's how the neck is. I love this jacket. It is so heavy. And I just you know I just bought me some Reeboks and they're green. So I, I was like after he got me this one, I was like, okay. I want the green. My mind been on the green. So we went today and I got me a green one. Okay. Yeah. So we got those from like a wholesale place that um, he gets his wholesale t-shirts from. So that's what I got today. Let's move on back to the wood. Like I just gave you guys a haul. You realize that? Let me go get some of the wood so you, I show you guys how to how I'm going to apply the double stick tape. On the back of these things and then we can go from there okay guys so I have all of the wood here oh. now I lose that light guys let me switch let me put a battery in this um, camera because the battery went dead on me and the light that can give me extra light that battery that I had that charging with the charger that I put in the camera to charge so I can record but now that light shut off and I am kind of dark now so let me put a battery in the camera okay I'm back so here is the wood this is the back of it. And that's the front. So I'm going to flip it on the back. And I'm going to take pieces of the tape. I have my scissors to cut the tape. So I'm going to put like three pieces at this size. Okay, and then I'm just going to attach it more to the edge, like that, okay, I don't went on crooked because, I mean it don't matter, but it went on crooked because I was trying to show you guys, okay, so let me let you guys just see me do some, how I did it. Oops, job. <clears throat> if y'all see the rig up that I have going on here. So like this and then the liquid nail is going to go like in between like that okay so this is just to hold it in place until the liquid nail dries that's the purpose of the tape I can put them up with only tape but I'm afraid um like you know you have winter then you have summer then you have winter I be between those um in and out of seasons it weakens the adhesive on these and they probably fall off Anybody want to do that? You slam a door, they probably fall off. So that's the purpose of the liquid nail. Or I can probably just do this alone and then hit it with the brad nailer, but then I'm going to have too much holes here, and that's what I'm trying to avoid. Okay? So that's one down, a lot more to go. Okay? So I'm going to, um, 
I am going to do the rest of these. I'm going to do all of them so when I start to work, I don't have to stop. I have, I can just grab and go, grab and go. Grab, put adhesive, go. Grab, put some adhesive, go. That's how I want to do this. Okay? So, like I said, that's one. If you live in an apartment and you want to upgrade the doors, even your cabinet doors, paneling, you can do this with only the double stick tape. Um, on your cabinet, you want to upgrade like your cabinet doors. Like I can do these on my cabinet doors if I wanted to. Um, but I'm going with a, a design. So... I mean, that just gave me a really good idea, to be honest. But sure, it's taking me a long time to finish them cabinet doors. Okay guys, I am tired. I did just so tondo. I'm tired. Because the gun I need it's kinda sliding. So at some points I need to put at least one brad nail in and um the gun is doing the same thing again. I guess I have to buy my new gun. But so I have this door to do. I have a, that bathroom, this door, that door, this door. I have enough to finish these two, these three doors. One door is going to need more and my bedroom is going to need more. And it's okay if I buy another one because I still have to do them for downstairs anyway. But I started with my office door and I'm tired. So plus I'm trying to film it for Instagram as well. So this Negro right here, she tired. So guys. I'll jump back on this too tomorrow. Yeah, I'll jump back on this tomorrow. I wanted to try to be um, finish this part tonight, and then um, 
If I'm just, see, I don't want to put it up only with the, if I'm not using the nail gun, the nail glue, I'll probably get through a little faster. Um, I don't want to take a chance and only put nail glue, Put just put the tape only. I don't think they're going to hold. If I put the tape only, then I need to go through with the nail gun, but my nail gun is not working properly. I don't know if it's the nails. Um, that I'm using if maybe because they're a little bit bent so I don't know if, if that's what it is I'm going to try the other nails and see if it's still behaving like that and if it's still behaving like that that means I need a new nail gun um, but if I want to continue right now um, my easiest way to continue is not using the liquid nail If I had somebody doing the liquid nail for me, but I'm trying to ask nobody to come up their comfort zone, child. So Judith is on her own. They already think I'll be doing too much. So, yeah. Anyway, guys. Um, I don't think this is going to finish for Sunday. But I'll go as far as I can go, and you see as much as I see. Okay? And for right now, it's Friday night, and this homegirl right here wants to relax. Okay? And watch my girl. She's live. Watch her. I love her so I'm much. I'm trying to uh, see if my mom wants to do something so, for the Grammys thing so we can go live. I think that'll yeah. be fun. I'm about to go um, sit down. I think she's coming off live now. You know what's funny? Then I'll just watch my travel I shows. Did everything I want to do. I didn't even let y'all like really ask. I was like, no, we're smelling fragrances and we're doing it. Yeah, I'll, I'll, um, I will I'll don't need it. So let me come off the guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I think she's coming off live now. So I'll go watch my travel shows that I like to watch. Um, flying first class. Um, Trick Trendy, if you guys never saw, let me go. Her name, she's, her name is Brittany. And the name of her, in case you guys are interested, the name of her YouTube is Brittany, um, Pocket, Pockets and Bow. Okay, so she does a lot of um, um, fashion wear. She does a lot of, um, fragrances. She's the one that I found, um, what do you call it? Brown Sugar Babe. I heard her talking about it and then all of a sudden it started popping up on my Instagram. So, yeah. But, yeah. Okay? And then, uh, yeah, she's coming off live now. So, um, oh, well, Creasy has up a two-hour vlog. I'm about to go take a shower, get up in the bed, and that's what I'm about to go watch. So, on that note, guys, I'll see you guys tomorrow. This half of here, she tied. Bye. Okay, family. This is as far as I got. So, this is the closet door. This bathroom door is smaller than that door, like I said. So I need to cut the thing an inch smaller. So these are at 21. This needs to be 20. Um, this door is actually the same size as that door. This is the bedroom door. So they were being cheap instead of making it the size of a bedroom door, which should have been the, um, I think it's 30 inches or something. To make it 36 is a 36 should be a it should have been a 36 door but these two doors are actually the same and you can see how close it is to the lock so i don't want to do it over here because this lock is even closer in than that one is so that's where you get with a fixer upper house so this is the closet door which is a tiny door so the band in between there is actually only 10 inches. That's to show you. This is, um, these bedroom doors 
are twice the size or this door is twice this door is twice the size of that door and then i have this bedroom door so see i have this mess see so i have this mess going on on the floor that i have to clean up <laughs> and then this is my old gun and i actually purchased a new gun guys but guess what the new gun is doing the same thing so I'm gonna take the new gun back because now it has to be the nails that's making that happen, okay? So the next thing I have to do is I have to go downstairs. Um, I need to cut, I have the bands. I have bands that I can cut, but I'm gonna need this long part, the top, bottom. And I have what I think is the same thickness um, from when I was doing my cabinets, so I am going to, um, this is why I hate starting projects. Look at this. I got a mess going on here, right? So I'm going to see if that's the same wood and I'll cut that up so I can finish this job upstairs. And when I'm ready to do downstairs, I, um, I'll just go, that's when I'll buy the next wood. Now my bedroom, I have enough to do my bedroom, the inside door, but I don't have this top piece. And I don't want to put these on without that because sometimes you have to push them out a little bit. So this was the first door that I did, which was the bedroom door. So you see this one has a ding up here on the wood. So I'm going to have to fill that. I'm going to have to peel it off, fill it in, sand it down. So it turned out to be a lot of work. I didn't expect it to be this much work, but it is. And I am starting to feel like I'm going to need the strips that are gonna go in here to really make this look how I want it to look. So I might put the round ones or the square ones. And I'm, the round ones will look better, but the square ones are cheaper. So it's like 50 cents cheaper. And like I said, I'm going to need quite a bit for each door so guys that's where i'm at that's where i left off so today i am going to finish putting these on these two and i'm not really worried about my bedroom but i'm gonna put these two on today and probably finish the bedroom on the inside part and then start caulking it um smoothing everything out so that it can start to take the paint I'm trying to continue on this and not let let it be and then it ends up being like my staircase and every other part of my house that's not finished okay so that's it guys I will see you guys on Wednesday not Wednesday on Thursday I'm not posting on Wednesdays anymore um, so I'll see you guys on Thursday and you should have some painted doors and we should see how this project turned out um and see if you guys like it and go from there like i said this is something you can do in your apartments like say if you have these ugly um cabinets that comes with this apartment you can just use a double stick tape you can get this wood cut it up and you can create a design um, if you have an island and you're trying to preserve the island in your homes, you can also use this, put it there and paint on top of it. This takes paint very, very well. It does not take stain, but it takes paint very, very well. Okay. Um, so that's it for now, guys. See you guys on Thursday. Bye. Always remember, never let your budget dictate your style, but create a space that you love, designed for life.